who knows what lurks in the depths of our mysterious oceans. It's easy to let your imagination run wild when it comes to all the secrets concealed in the seven seas. Yup, 80% of our oceans remain unexplored, which means there's unlimited potential for terrifying and earth-shattering discoveries down there. It gives us chills just thinking about it. Deep sea divers and submariners have stumbled upon the strangest artifacts and creatures over the years. And we have to commend them for their bravery. Not everyone can plunge into the abyss and live to tell the tale. You not only have to find it, you have to also identify it and collect perfect samples. From ancient skeletons trapped in a watery grave to sunken spaceships resting on the ocean floor, these are the 20 terrifying things found by submarines and deep sea divers. <laughs> Skeleton in Caves First up, it's a creepy skeleton forgotten by time. After thousands of years of being hidden away, a remarkable find was discovered deep in the long-forgotten cave system. It was a human skeleton untouched by time and the elements that had been buried away since the end of the last ice age 8,000 years ago. This amazing discovery was made by two brave cave diving archaeologists. Octavio Del Rio and Peter Roger, while exploring the depths of a Mexican jungle. Although the skeleton was partially covered in sediment, the two adventurers were able to determine its age based on the fact that it had been too far away from the cave entrance to have reached it without modern diving equipment. This remarkable discovery is now one of the oldest human remains found in North America, located in the sinkhole caves known as Cenotes on the country's Caribbean coast. An amazing find indeed. Who knows what else might be lurking in these creepy cenotes. And now it's time for our open discussion. This submarine made a chilling discovery after spotting this in the deep ocean. Yes, the ocean is a chilling place, and giant creatures lurk in the shadows just waiting to launch their perfectly timed attack. It's a scary thought, but hey, that's the reality of exploring the deep sea. There's always a bigger fish. In this viral image, a submarine is being dwarfed by a much larger figure, and it appears to have many limbs unlike any fish or whale we've ever seen. Pretty weird, right? So what do you guys think of this spooky photo? Do you know what this mysterious sea creature might be? Let us know in the comments section below using the hashtag OpenDiscussion. Lake Nucatel Shark do you have the courage to take the plunge into Lake Nucatel? If so, you may find yourself face to face with the mysterious shark sculpture that has been lurking in the depths for centuries. While the origins of this statue remain unknown, some Redditors have uncovered the truth. It was once a prop for the movie Choc au Lac, made by La Jeuneuse de la Côte. Over 176 children and professionals were involved in its creation. The shark sculpture looks like a mix of an anglerfish and a T-Rex, with its extra-long menacing teeth and its dark, soulless eyes. It's no wonder some believe it was dumped in the lake to terrify and fascinate those who dare to swim in its depths. The lake spans 218 square kilometers across four Swiss states and reaches a depth of 500 meters in some places. Despite its depth, the lake is perfect for swimming, sailing, wakeboarding, and diving, so don't be afraid to take the plunge. Who knows what other mysterious secrets might be lurking in the depths of Lake Nucatel? On second thought, we're not sure that we want to know. Sea Spider Deep under the oceans of Antarctica, South America, Africa, and Madagascar, this sneaky sea spider can actually breathe underwater. Yes, the giant sea spider is living proof that you can't escape spiders no matter where you go. Sorry, arachnophobes. Even the sea is full of spiders. These strange sea creatures have spindly legs that grow to about 10 inches long, and sharp proboscis that they use to suck up food on the ocean floor. They are as big as the massive bird-eating tarantula, which scurry around the forest on dry land. And just as horrifying, Weirdly, all of the sea spider's organs are its legs, and they breathe through their skin, using their straw-like appendage to suck the life out of their victims. In Antarctica, sea creatures can grow much larger thanks to the phenomenon known as abysmal giganticism, where the cold temperatures slow an animal's metabolism right down, resulting in much larger bodies. 
And here we were thinking that the spiders up here were spooky. They've got nothing on these ghostly sea creatures. And Tukathira Shipwreck. Are you ready to see the world's first ever computer? This mystical machine was found in a shipwreck deep below the Aegean Sea back in 1900. However, it continued to baffle experts up until 1975, when researchers started to connect the dots on this puzzling ancient device. It's widely accepted that the astonishing Antukathira artifact is actually the world's first ever computer. However, the mystery remains as to who it belonged to and what it was doing at the bottom of the ocean. Yep, this remarkable machine was built to predict astrological events using a series of dials and gears. And strangely enough, it was even inscribed with zodiac symbols and ancient Egyptian calendar dates. It even marked the lunar and solar eclipses, as well as the Olympics. The amazing Antikythera was accurate within one degree of planetary movements, and was at least 1500 years ahead of its time in terms of technology. When it comes to deep sea discoveries, it doesn't get much stranger than ancient computers etched with undecipherable symbols. This artifact is simply mind-blowing. Did you ever think that the world's first computer would look quite like this? Headless Chicken Monster We've heard of someone running around like a headless chicken, but we've never heard of a sea cucumber swimming like a headless chicken. Yes, prepare to be amazed by this freaky creature. A headless chicken-like sea cucumber was recently spotted in the deep dark depths of the East Antarctica. A team of Aussie scientists were using some new camera tech when they spotted this Anipniastes eczemia, who goes by the nickname Spanish Dancer because of its graceful fin motions. This peculiar cucumber has the ability to swim, something that's quite rare amongst its species. It was first seen in the 1880s near Peru, and the appearance in the Southern Ocean begs the question, what else is lurking down there? Sea cucumbers, who are a type of echinoderm that also includes starfish and sea urchins, feed on tiny particles like algae. Some species are illegally harvested because they are a delicacy or used in traditional medicine. But this particular cucumber was just going for a bit of a stroll, foraging with its tentacles on the ocean floor. That is, until it decided to take to the high seas and show off its swimming skills with its wing-like fins. This creature is simply bizarre. Apollo 11 Engines What goes up must come down, and this unusual shipwreck is perfect evidence of this. As if being the billionaire CEO and founder of Amazon wasn't enough, Jeff Bezos has now dipped his toe into the waters of salvaging deep sea wreckage. Of course, this isn't any old buried treasure. Bezos has led a recovery mission for the lost engines of the iconic Apollo 11 rocket ship that took US astronauts to the moon for the first time. The internet mogul said that he was inspired to dream big by watching the original moon mission as a five-year-old in 1969. And now, over 50 years later, he has made his dreams come true. The Saturn V rocket that launched Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins into space actually separated 38 miles into the sky. And the engines plummeted into the ocean, never to be seen again. Until now, deep sea divers found the 9-ton wreckage 14,000 feet under the sea off the coast of Florida, and Bezos described the site as an incredible sculpture garden of twisted F1 engines. He intends to put this incredible buried treasure on display in a Seattle museum, in hopes that it will inspire others to do something amazing. Finding a spaceship on the ocean floor? Now that's what we call inspirational. Crop Circle We've all heard of the mysterious crop circles that appear out of nowhere in farmers' fields, but did you know that this creepy phenomenon also happens deep under the sea? These seven feet wide, perfectly geometric shapes can be found on the ocean bed, often resembling detailed concentric circles in the sand. However, this isn't the work of aliens, but rather the very real white spotted pufferfish. This crafty fish lies off the coast of Japan and is the creative genius behind these eerily beautiful circular patterns. The five inch pufferfish flaps its fins as it swims along the sea floor, stirring up with the sediment as it goes. Sounds like a big effort for one small fish. However, the reason behind these underwater crop circles are pretty important. Studies show that the male of the species does this to attract a mate, and the female will lay their eggs in the center of these ornate circular patterns. 
Scientists had no idea who or what was making these sand circles, and it took over a decade for experts to finally figure out that it was a tiny yet determined fish. It can take a whole week for the white spotted puffer fish to finish their masterpiece, but unfortunately underwater currents can wash away all their hard work pretty quickly. So there you have it. If you see a crop circle on the ocean floor, it's not a deep sea alien, but a humble puffer fish. You learn something new every day. Giant jellyfish. During their daring dive into the pitch black depths of the Pacific, researchers at the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute, or MBARI, were awarded with a rare and incredible encounter. At a staggering 3,200 feet beneath the surface, their remotely operated vehicle came face to face with the remarkable Stygiomedusa giganti, commonly known as the giant phantom jellyfish. Its name is quite fitting, as sightings of this ethereal creature are few and far between. This really is a phantom jellyfish. It can be found anywhere from the surface to depths of up to almost 22,000 feet, but it's most commonly spotted in the midnight zone, which lies between 3,280 and 13,120 feet deep. Out of thousands of deep sea dives logged by their ROVs, the research institute has only spotted this majestic species nine times. In fact, since its discovery in 1899, scientists have only encountered the giant phantom jellyfish a total of around 100 times. Fortunately, this time it was caught on video. The footage reveals the jellyfish's graceful tentacles fluttering in the water like delicate curtains of silk caught in a gentle breeze. It looks almost too beautiful to be the body of a deep sea creature, more like something out of a high fashion underwater photo shoot. With a bell measuring more than three feet across, the giant phantom jellyfish's four ribbon-like arms function as mouths and can grow to be more than 33 feet in length. Incredible! This rare jellyfish might be pretty creepy looking, but it's strangely beautiful too. Bimini Road are you ready for a wild and mysterious ride? Let's deep dive into the depths of the ocean to explore the Bimini Road, an underwater rock formation located off the coast of North Bimini. This submerged road rests 18 feet below the surface and stretches roughly half a mile, ending in a graceful hook. Alongside it, two other linear rock formations lay in wait. They're rectangular blocks made of limestone. The larger blocks appear to be intentionally arranged and stacked and weathered by time underwater to a rounded shape. But it doesn't end there. This limestone is known as beach rock, and it's native to the Bahamas. According to the mystery, the Bimini Road was actually mentioned 30 years before its discovery. American mystic and prophet Edgar Cayce predicted the discovery of the road in 1938, claiming it was a path to the ancient temples of Atlantis. Could it be true? Many believe so. And who could blame them? With its eerily perfect formation, the Bimini Road may just be the entrance to a lost underwater world. So what do you guys think? Do you believe in the lost city of Atlantis? Or is it all just a fairy tale? Let us know your theories in the comments section below. Sea Cucumber This bizarre looking creature is full of surprises. Yep, it takes some guts to be a sea cucumber. No, literally. These squishy sea creatures may look totally defenseless, but they actually have a pretty extraordinary defense mechanism that will most likely turn your stomach. That's right, this underwater slug is capable of projectile vomiting its insides out, contracting its muscles to fire their internal organs at attackers. Weird, right? This strange assault is so freaky that most predators will flee in revulsion, leaving the sea cucumber in peace. But how does this jelly-like creature survive without its organs? Well, amazingly enough, the sea cucumber can actually regenerate its insides. So throwing up its organs every now and again is no big deal for this soft sea creature. Sure, it's gross, but it's super effective. Remind us to never get too close to a sea cucumber. We don't fancy being covered in cucumber guts. Baltic Sea Anomaly Peter Lindbergh, Dennis Auberg, and their Swedish Ocean X diving team were out on a treasure hunting mission in the northern Baltic Sea when they stumbled upon what they thought was a UFO. 
The sonar image they had taken was indistinct, but it still showed some strange features that seemed to be of a non-natural origin. While many experts and scientists argued it was just a natural geological formation, Ocean X claimed the image showed a 200 feet diameter circular object. With features resembling ramps, stairways, and structures that couldn't have been created by nature. The following year, the team returned to the site with the intention of getting a clearer image of the anomaly. However, they were stopped in their tracks by some mysterious electrical interference. Jonathan Hill of the Mars Space Flight Facility even questioned the motives behind Ocean X announcements, which included plans to take wealthy tourists to the site in a submarine. Who knows what secrets are hidden beneath the Baltic Sea? So, what do you guys think? Is this really an ocean UFO, or is it just a really weird shaped rock? We haven't made up our minds yet. Underwater Icicle Nothing strikes fear into the heart of deep sea explorers quite like the icy finger of death, otherwise known as an ice brinicle. So, what in Poseidon's name is a deadly brinicle? Well, basically, when salt water leaks from icebergs on the ocean's surface. It sinks down into the deep, occasionally forming a creepy finger-shaped brinicle of ice. The salty sea brine is so cold that the water freezes immediately, resulting in the eerie natural phenomenon you see before you. But before you get too freaked out, it might be worth remembering that these briny ice compartments could have actually been the source of all life. Yep, the little single-cell organisms that evolved into fish, that evolved into creatures that could walk on land. Well, you get it. Life on Earth could have started here. Inside the ice, there is a high concentration of chemical compounds and fats that coat the inside of the compartment that can act as a primitive membrane. Pretty amazing stuff, right? Who knew a frozen finger in the sea could have been the beginning of mankind? Yup, brinicles might look sinister, but they actually are incredibly important parts of the ecosystem on Earth. Lion City If you're a believer in the lost city of Atlantis, then you will love Lion City. Sleeping deep beneath the waters of Qiandao Lake in China lies an ancient city, frozen in time and often dubbed the Atlantis of the East. It's the mysterious underwater city of Xincheng, a marvelous relic of Imperial China, where white temples, memorial arches, and buildings adorned with classical Chinese statues and carvings of dragons and phoenixes have remained undisturbed for over 50 years. In January 2001, the city was rediscovered and declared a historical relic under the protection of the Zhejiang province. The cool waters of the lake shield the structures from the elements and keep them in a remarkable condition. Since much of the city remains unmapped, dives on the site are regarded as exploratory adventures. The city was flooded on government orders to make space for a hydroelectric dam, and sadly over 300,000 people had to be relocated as a result. Despite the immense tragedy, the former residents still have a strong connection with the Lion City through their ancestry and culture. It is believed to be the most well-preserved Chinese city, with its homes, temples, structures, and roads submerged 131 feet below the surface, and protected from the sun, wind, and rain. Its five entrance gates, stone architecture from the Ming and Qing dynasties, and 265 archways with stonework dating back to 1,777 make it a truly remarkable sight. We don't know about you, but we reckon this would be an incredible place to dive. Magnificent Alien Get ready to explore the forest of the weird. A few years ago, while exploring the depths of the ocean about 850 miles southwest of Hawaii, the scientists on board the Okinos Explorer stumbled upon an absolutely peculiar landscape. An array of sea sponges standing tall on their stalks had their bodies turned to face the powerful current that carried tiny food particles. This unique scene inspired one of the scientists to christen the area the Forest of the Weird. But the team was in for an even more unexpected surprise. Amongst the strange sponges, one stood out with its long, thin neck, elongated head, and huge eyes. Can you guess what this mysterious creature reminded the scientists of? That's right, it was none other than E.T., from Steven Spielberg's classic movie. And as it turns out, this peculiar sponge was an entirely new species now known as Advina Magnifica, or as the scientists would call it, the Magnificent Alien. 
Yup, this weird sea creature truly is magnificent. Deep Sea Cemetery Ahoy! Come join us on an adventure to the Sunken Cemetery. One of the most unique and visited tourist attractions on Kamingin Island. Yes, it might be slightly spooky, but there's nothing to be afraid of. It all started in 1871, when a huge eruption of the Vulcan volcano filled the sky with ash and lava. Reaching heights of nearly 610 meters, earthquakes shook and destroyed the whole area. And the old town of Katarman and its cemetery were swallowed by the sea. At low tide, remnants of the cemetery structures and headstones could still be seen until 1948, when Mount Vulcan erupted for the fourth time and the burial site was pushed even further under the sea. More than seven meters deep, in 1982 a large cross was erected to commemorate the site and now stands proudly at the sea's surface. This site of reverence and reflection can be ascended by boat, but many take the small ride out to take in the view of Mount Vulcan, the volcano that sacrificed the people of Kaminguin to the sea. What we really want to know is, can ghosts exist under the water? You never know. This might just be the most haunted place in the ocean. Now that really would be incredible. Submarine U-166 This sunken submarine has a dark history. The German submarine U-166 was a Type IXC U-boat of Nazi Germany's Kriegsmarine during World War II. Talk about a blast from the past! In 2001, while searching for the wreck of the Robert E. Lee, the wreck of the U-166 was also located less than two miles from where it had attacked it. The seafloor survey conducted by CNC Marine archaeologist Robert A. Church and Daniel J. Warren revealed two large sections lying 500 feet apart, at either end of a debris field, a telltale sign of a U-boat. This site has been designated a war grave because of the 52 crew members entombed there, and it is protected against any future attempts to salvage it. In 2014, oceanographer and National Geographic explorer-in-residence Robert Ballard mapped the wreck with remotely operated vehicles and discovered that the bow of the submarine had been blown off and was resting 100 feet away from the main hull. It was determined that a depth charge had landed on the forward deck, exploded, and caused an internal detonation of the submarine's own torpedoes, thus breaking off the bow. Unfortunately, results of a study released in February 2019 showed that the wreck of the U-166 had been badly damaged due to the 2010 Deepwater Horizon oil spill, with seabed bacteria feeding on the oil causing the destruction. That's right, oil is slowly destroying this war grave, meaning that one day it might disappear altogether. Massive Siphonophore when it comes to weird creatures, there's nothing on this planet quite as weird as siphonophores. If you've never seen anything quite like this before, it might be because this elusive deep sea creature lives a whopping 4,000 feet under the sea. It might look like an alien stringy blob, but this animal really lives on our planet. The otherworldly siphonophore is closely related to jellyfish and coral, but it takes a very different form. These breathtaking creatures are made up of many different organisms called zoids. All these zoids have their own jobs, each one serving a different purpose. Some are responsible for hunting food. Some parts digest their meals and some only function to reproduce. These separate organisms are all attached together to create one complex entity that is perfectly balanced to survive. Most amazingly of all, these peculiar sea creatures can grow to a staggering 130 feet in length, longer than the world's largest animal, the blue whale. We definitely wouldn't want to swim past one of these creepy giants. Super strange! A Stonehenge Dive deep into the depths of Lake Constance and you might just stumble upon a 5,000-year-old mystery. The Swiss Stonehenge Sitting 15 feet below the surface of the 207 square mile body of water on the borders of Switzerland, Germany, and Austria. The stones range in size up to 100 inches wide and are all arranged in a perfect parallel line to the Swiss shoreline. The archaeologists from the Swiss canton of Thurgau were absolutely sensational when they discovered this mysterious formation. An incredible arm-like digger was used to remove material from the lake bed, revealing the stones for further study. 
with the help of advanced underwater georadar technology, developed by the Technical University of Darmstadt in Germany. The team of scientists analyzed the sediment and stone deposits to uncover the origin and purpose of the formations. Although the stones are not visible from the surface, the arrangement of them gives us the indication that they were placed by humans, not nature. This ancient mystery continues to puzzle experts who are unsure whether it's a natural phenomenon, the result of the last ice age, or man-made fortifications, graves, or temples. We knew there was a Stonehenge in a field in England, but we never knew there was one underwater in Switzerland. The sea will never cease to amaze us. Shipwreck Ahoy me mateys, welcome to the wild and wacky waters of Shipwreck Alley, known to the locals as Thunder Bay. This region of the Great Lakes became infamous in the 19th century for its hazardous waters. But that's not why it's so popular with scuba divers today. No, this is the home of nearly 100 historic shipwrecks. The main attraction is the Isaac M. Scott, a propeller-driven coal carrier that fell victim to the Great Storm of 1913, claiming the lives of 150 Marines in a single day. Then there's the New Orleans, a wooden-sided wheeler that hit a reef on a fog-bound night in 1849. Luckily, all 300 passengers and sailors were rescued. These wrecks are more than just tourist attractions. They're protected by the Thunder Bay National Marine Sanctuary, which works to ensure future generations can enjoy these underwater treasures. Through research, education, and community involvement, the sanctuary has also provided scientific data, such as fish spawning areas to fisheries biologists. Shipwreck Alley isn't just a fun dive, it's an educational one too. So if you are ever in Thunder Bay, you can take a dive into history and check out some truly awesome shipwrecks. Ghost Fleet of Truk Lagoon For decades, the Ghost Fleet of Truk Lagoon has been a spooky presence on the seabed. The Japanese had built a formidable defense system in what was then known as Truk Lagoon, now Chuk during World War II, including airships, torpedo boat stations, communication and radar stations, submarine repair and seaplane bases, and 44,000 men. It was so strong that Allied forces called it the Gibraltar of the Pacific. On February 17, 1944, Allied forces destroyed the stronghold with a single attack, sinking 12 Japanese warships and 32 merchant ships and destroying 275 Japanese aircraft, the area became the world's largest underwater graveyard and is still a dangerous place to explore. The wrecks have jagged edges, tangles of cables, and old oil and fuel still leaking into the water. If you're thinking of diving in Truk Lagoon, be warned. Under the crystal clear waters, you can find gas masks, depth charges, fighter aircraft, railroad cars, torpedoes, tanks, and even human remains. But the wrecks are now home to manta rays, sharks, and sea turtles, so it's worth exploring, as long as you're careful. Shiver me timbers, there's enough mysteries in the ocean to keep scientists busy until the end of time. Well, leave the exploring to the experts and observe the deep sea from the comfort of our own homes. So, which one of these terrifying discoveries sent a tingle down your spine? You can let us know what you think in the comment section below. And don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. You can also hit subscribe for more awesome content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.